Manipulatives help students solidify their understanding of number concepts because they can represent whole numbers concretely. This begins in the early grades with simple counting, and it progresses through middle school when students use manipulatives to represent integers. Watch as Darla Schwollert's students use manipulatives in concrete problem-solving models. What we're going to do in our lesson for today is learn another way for adding and subtracting integers instead of always using a number line. Today we're going to use chips. Let's start off, I'm going to put this red chip on the overhead. We're going to say that represents a negative 1. Black chip, what would you assume, represents positive, positive 1. Good. The red one is negative 1, so I'm going to go negative 1 step. Stop there. The black one represents positive 1. So I'm going to turn around and go in the positive direction. Where do I end up, class? Zero. 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 When we have a negative 1 and a positive 1 together, and we end up at 0, we're going to call that a zero pair. What if we had three negative chips added to three positive chips? What is the value of that, Eduardo? Zero. Zero. There's a special word for that when you have a number and you add its opposite to it and you end up at zero, and that's called the additive inverse property. Additive means you're adding. Inverse means the opposite. All right, guys, these are the steps that you need to follow in your groups right now when you're working on this problem. Number one, model the problem with chips. I want you to actually set the chips out on your desk and do the problem. Show me that you're doing it like we did on the overhead. So it'd be two, negative two. Number two, I want you to then draw it with your red and black marker after you've done it with the chips. Then solve the problem, put the answer on your paper, and explain in just one brief sentence how you got your answer. Here is your pair, so all the is left is a positive two. Oh, so you just cancel those two out with the red Yeah. Numbers. So why don't you take that zero pair, since it represents zero, and just move it out of the way, because that doesn't change yeah. our problem, does it? Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And what do we have left for the value of this problem, for our answer? Well, negative two. Exactly.